Aubrey Newman and I'm a part of the Barbican Young Reviewers and today I'm going to be witnessing Darren Johnston. Now Darren Johnston is a multidisciplinary choreographer from Britain. Now his presentation is going to be called Point Zero and I'm not sure what it's going to consist of to be honest but I know it's got an all-star cast of dancers who are Japanese and there's going to be a ballerina called Hana Sakai. Now the storyline entails between the conflict of spirituality and science and I'm really looking forward to how they're going to develop that because they are two very diverse and indulging topics. Now I'll see you inside before my review. Hello, so it's now after the show, and I've got to say, I'm in a good mood. It was a good show, like genuinely. I think it was one of the best shows I've seen for the Barbican so far. Now, it's been a long day, and I'm completely knackered, so I'm going to do the conclusion at home. I'll see you later. Okay, so it's after the show, and I've got to say, firstly, the lighting really stood out for me throughout the whole performance. I have to say that the lighting very much conveyed emotions and really portrayed the narrative effectively. For example, there was this one scene where it was sort of a picturesque pyramid on the stage where this male and female were dancing within and there was this strobe light crashing against it and it was almost as though I was watching an animated film. It, it really engaged me as, an, as a member of the audience. Another key moment within the play was a love fueled dance carried out by a pair of dancers. I would say that the lighting was brightly lit white and it actually during the dance turned red which sort of conveyed sort of dangerous emotions and stuff. So, sort of indicating to me as a member of the audience that this wasn't a dance of love, but a, a dance of hatred. Secondly, the sound really coincided with the lighting also. Now, the sounds and soundscapes were developed by Tim Hecker, and they consisted of high and low frequency bass noises. So from my previous example, when the lighting turned red on the stage, the frequency bass noises turned really low and deafening and sort of projected out throughout the whole centre of the stage. Now Tim Hecker actually stated that the whole visceral sort of noises and frequencies developed through the whole show was a metaphor for consciousness. Now on to the dancers. I must say they gave it their all throughout the whole performance. It consisted of a mix between ballet dancing and contemporary dancing. I thought that they were extremely elegant at times and amazingly physical and very emotional throughout the whole performance. However, I did think that it was a bit too straight and narrow for me. I felt like they didn't convey enough emotion for me to really understand what the narrative was going for and what the storyline was. However, I will say that the lighting and the soundscapes definitely presented us with more emotion than the dancers, creating a melancholic and very suspenseful atmosphere. Now, one of my main criticisms throughout the whole performance was the narrative. It just wasn't clear enough. Though the lighting and the sound direction definitely presented us with a little bit of storyline, I felt like the dancers just didn't do it enough for me. The narrative just didn't explore the very diverse topics of science and spirituality enough for me. I felt the dancers were very elegant at what they did, however just didn't engage me enough for me to want more of it. Now, as this is my last review, unfortunately, I have to give a big warm thanks to The Barbican for giving me the opportunity to view a variety of shows, which I probably wouldn't have seen if it wasn't for you guys. So, thank you. I've been Aubrey Newman, reporting for Barbican Young Reviewers, and I'll see you later.